Okay, so every once in a while you're going to want to replace the hooks on your poochies for your kokanee. So, you know, these things, most kokanee lures seem to come with uh, size 4, size 6 octopus hooks from Gamakatsu. I do really like these hooks and I will fish them in a factory without any concerns. However, these hooks will wear out after you catch a bunch of kokanee. Um, they'll, they'll mangle up the... Uh, the leader material or even the hooks will dull themselves if they get caught in your net or you catch enough fish and you'll want to replace those. Or alternatively you may just end up buying your own hoochies and just want to rig them up uh, in your own custom way. Um, I prefer these micro hoochies from Paulina Peak. This is their Wiki Up Sunrise color. Um, I really like that color. Um, but you can also just buy a wide variety of hoochies from uh, most tackle shops. They're a little bit bigger, um, so you'll, I like to end up uh, trimming these down a little bit just so that they're not so oversized. It seems like I get more kokanee with a smaller profile, um, but that's up to you. You can leave the skirts long or you can trim them short. There's a bunch of different um, colors out there you can pick from, so whatever um, hoochie you decide to go with, you just want to make sure that you match your uh, the beads. You're going to want to have an assorted variety of beads. Um, to slide up inside this hoochie here and give it some body and also stop the hooks from sliding up inside. So you can go with bigger hooks on the bigger hoochies and you'll need or bigger beads on the bigger hoochies and you'll need smaller beads on the smaller hoochies. Like I said most of the time they factory come with uh, a lot of the lures will come with size 4 or size 6 uh, octopus kamikatsu quality hook but I actually prefer <coughs> to fish um, either finesse wide gap hooks size 4 from Gamakatsu or my favorite is the size 2 split shot drop shot hooks. The reason I like these two hooks um, is these are a thinner gauge wire. You'll see that they're uh, quite a bit thinner than the octopus hooks in terms of the thickness of the hook and you know for kokanee when you're trolling um, the fish is really setting the hook on itself and I find I get deeper penetration with these thin wire hooks and um, and thus I get more fish to the boat. Um, either one works seems to work really well. I just like the split shot, drop shot style hook um, just because it has that little bit deeper gap um, or bend down in the hook and it helps keep that corn pegged on there if they're short striking it. Um, the finesse wide gap does a really good job too. Um, especially if they're short striking because it has a rather wide gap um, and you just tend to, to get them in the face a little bit easier with that setup. As far as um, line, I almost always use 10 pound Maxima Ultra Green. Kokanee really are not leader shy. Some folks will claim they get a little bit better um, production with fluorocarbon, but I like a 10 pound. It's a little bit stiffer, so it allows it um, to throw around that that hoochie a little bit more um, behind the dodger with a little bit stiffer line. If you had a more supple or softer line, I think you'd actually end up with less action, which is why I prefer 10 pound. Now, um, there's a lot of things you can actually, you can just run these things plain without any worries. So like, you know, here the Polina Peak Matrix hoochies just come plain. There's no blade in the front. If you want to add a blade, um, you can absolutely do that. <coughs> There's a lot of variety of blades out there. You can just use your small, you know, nickel brass blades, gold, um, doesn't matter really what color, they come in a bunch of different ones. You can paint them up yourself. I like to use these little uh, plastic quick clevis, quick change clevises. Let's me change out my blades on there easy, and they seem to rotate at a pretty slow speed. Um, that's pretty key. With kokanee blades, you want something that rotates at a slower speed because you're tending to be trolling under a mile and a half per hour. There's a lot of other blades out there that are not metal that will turn at um, really slow speeds. This is a Max Smiley blade, the Money Maker blade. Um, these are the new Butterfly polycarbonate blades from um, Northland Tackle. I think originally produced by Dutch Fork Customs, but they bought them out. Partly they bought out these, this blade design. I'm really excited about that one. Um, it has a really strong UV component. So it glows nicely, and most of these do. Um, another thing that you can add on the front end is a, is a wiggle hoochie bill. These are from Crystal Basin Tackle. 
Um, this actually inserts up inside of here and will actually um, cause your hoochie to swim back and forth side to side. This is really good to run behind um, a little, with a little bit longer leader, um, run behind um, say like a, a lake troll or a jack of diamonds um, like I have here. So those are these long lake trolls that have all these blades. This one's I've got custom uh, taped up. Um, but it adds action to the lure. So if you're not running a dodger, this will help add action to that lure and, and get more strikes on it. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to create too much drag with your blades. You don't want to run oversized blades because when you're running these behind a dodger and it's going side to side, drag created by these blades will actually slow down the action on your dodger and um, that tends to reduce the number of strikes. So I'm just going to rig a couple of these up um, just as examples with these different style hooks and different style blades and I'll let you take a look at them. And then, if you okay, so I've tied up some examples here and just want to note a few things. Um, so I'm using a snelled hook system. I'm not going to go into great detail on how to snell hooks. There's a lot of videos online. But one thing you'll notice is I snell mine differently in that the hooks point in opposite directions. So I'll snell with the hook up on the end and then the hook pointing in the opposite direction above it. And then um, I just feel like I get more hookups this way. There's the hooks pointing in the same direction. I catch plenty of fish. I mean, most of the package stuff comes that way. Um, but I like this counter pointing hooks. And then I'll just shove two or three... Um, small beads up in here. For these micro hoochies I like beads that are three millimeters and under. Usually just takes a couple. That helps keep the hooks from sliding way up to the front there. And then I'm going to run a six to eight inch leader because I like to run these tight behind my dodgers. And um, then I just store them here on these really handy Lindy rigger kits. Um, you can buy these and I'll put a link to these below. That just allows you to wrap up your your uh, pre-tied hoochies and have a bunch of them ready to go and then you can store longer leader ones in there. So this is just a plain one I rigged up. Here's a similar one. Again I'm running this short with those staggered uh, hooks. This one's got the little butterfly blade on the front but the main thing I wanted to point out here is that you, if you're going to run a blade on the front of these you need to put a small bead here to act as a bearing. So here I have a small plastic pink bead to act as a bearing for this butterfly blade. <clears throat> Similarly on this one where I'm using a different style hook, um, I'm running a smiley blade. I need to run a small bead here to help it rotate and spin. Again, six to eight inches. Now on these wiggle hoochie bills, um, here I got you know several beads um, stacked up inside there. These are four millimeter beads. So I have to push this hook back behind the skirt. I cut the nose off of that, and uh, you want to make sure you run the line out through the underneath and then through the front. That'll help push that bill down so it wiggles. But see here, I'm running a really long leader. I'm probably running close to um, 24 to 30 inches. And that's going to give that sp uh, space so they'll allow this to dance side to side and back and forth like they like to do. Um, with these bigger hoochies, you can run, like I said, four to six millimeter beads. Um, for the smaller ones, you want to go quite a bit smaller. So yeah, that's just uh, how I rig these. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, if you just put in the comments below, if you ask a question, or if you just if you don't have a question, just uh, name your favorite kokanee lake, and I'll pick somebody randomly in the next uh, week or so, and I'll send off the all of these that I just pre-rigged here. To that person uh, as a little giveaway and again if you have any questions let me know and i'll put links and descriptions of all the different products that you saw here today in the comments or in the description below all right until next time uh hopefully i'll see you out in the water soon and uh thanks for watching